I'm at my storage unit right now and I get comments all the time asking what I do with all the stuff we find. Well, I put it in here. <laughs> What's up guys, my name's Jake. Today I'm back on the Chattahoochee River located in Columbus, Georgia. And today I'm gonna be sharing some clips of myself scuba diving and finding vintage bottles. Now I've been doing this for the past few years ever since I started treasure hunting here in my river. And I've never really thought anything of it, you know. I just find these cool old bottles and I've been saving them. But I've been doing a lot of research and some of the bottles I've been finding are over 100 years old and potentially worth over thousands of dollars. And I thought it'd be so much fun to share this video with you guys. It's just something a little bit different. I've seen people dig for them on YouTube, but I've never seen anyone scuba dive for them. And I thought I'd share my adventures with you guys. So if you want to see another bottle collecting video like this in the future, drop a thumbs up. If there's support, I'll come back out here, scuba dive, and see what else I can find at the bottom of the river. But with that said, let's go ahead and start this adventure and share some cool vintage bottles that I've found over the years. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm at my storage unit right now and I get comments all the time asking what I do with all the stuff we find. Well, I put it in here. <laughs> So it looks chaotic, like just like a mess, but each bottle has like a layer of plastic besides the top, so they're all pretty protected, but let's go ahead, lay them out in the concrete, spray them all, and just get them organized a little bit better. So we just finished laying out all these bottles, and there's seriously probably a hundred here. I'm not gonna talk about each one individually, but I'm gonna try to go through some of my favorites and like maybe like my favorite piles, and then if you see something that stands out, let me know in the comment section below if it's a special one or not, or if you know more information about it. But I'm gonna start things off with my Coca-Cola collection here. And what's pretty cool is like, I've been told Coca-Cola was actually founded and started here in Columbus, Georgia. And most of these bottles I actually found in my river here at the Chattahoochee River. And that's, you know, where I do most of my diving. And some of these bottles could actually be maybe some of the original old Coca-Cola bottles, which is really special. But um, some of these were actually found in Florida too. But I'm not too sure, you know, I mean, some of these might be pretty special. I and mean, I definitely thought it'd be worth, you know, the hold on to them. And over here, we actually have some super old Pepsi bottles. I don't know if these are like maybe the original Pepsi bottles, but they just look really cool and special to hold on to. So that's why I kept them. These are really cool too, because these are old Shara Cola bottles. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what Shara Cola is or if it's partnered up with maybe Coca-Cola or Pepsi. But um, yeah, I found some really cool old Shara Cola bottles. And some of these might actually be pretty uh, rare as well. If you're original and you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, I have no idea the story behind this bottle, but uh, I got a nickname given to me because this guy was on the river walk and he called me Big Boy for some reason and uh, everyone started calling me Big Boy in the comment section and this bottle actually says Big Boy on it. And I just thought like, how in the world, man? Like how could that ever line up? And uh, yeah, we found an old Big Boy bottle. I don't know if it's super vintage or whatever, but that's super special to me. And uh, I'm a, I have to say, this next bottle i'm going to show you i found three of them this is definitely one of my favorites i looked it up on google and i've learned i think this is actually a vintage bottle a true vintage bottle but it has spider webs all over it uh, the other ones i found aren't in the best condition but this one's like perfectly clean and i have to say this is one of my favorite bottles i've ever found and then this right here is definitely my favorite favorite bottle i've ever found in my entire life and what's special about this I believe this is actually hand blown, like it's actually hand created because if you look right here, there's air bubbles inside the glass. It's kind of hard to see. There's air bubbles in there. It's not perfect at the top right here. I think someone actually made that and the bottom is actually rounded and this could be well over a few hundred years old and if you just set it down, like you won't be able to set it down because it would fall. But that's my favorite bottle I've ever found in my whole life and the spiderweb one is probably my second favorite. And then this one right here is probably my third favorite. I don't know if it's an old liquor bottle, medicine bottle, but it's just super flat and I've never found something like that before. These bottles right here are pretty cool because these are all the bottles that have writing on them. So if I bring one up for a closer look, like this one right here is full of sand. This one actually says federal law forbids or reuse of this bottle. And a lot of these actually say the same thing, but some of these are actually old medicine bottles like this one right here. I think this is an old medicine bottle, but they're just super special and like to have writing on a bottle like that just it just looks super old and that's why i kept them this one says the same thing federal law forbids you know reuse or resell of this bottle and uh to some of these just look super super old there's seriously no telling like this one actually has a face on it look at that one that's freaking cool and then this one is super oh almost broke it oh good <laughs> this one says old quaker on it and it has a guy right there as well if you know any information about this one, let me know. I mean, this one's really cool as well. Oh, this one's special too, look at this. I don't know what that is. It's a little chipped, a little disappointing, but it's super small. It might be like an old perfume bottle or something, or liquor bottle, I don't know. So this section right here is just more of like the bottles that uh, I don't know too much information about, more of the misfits, you know? 
but uh, here's some other good ones as well. And uh, these are actually called knee-high bottles. I don't know what knee-high is, but I found, I think, four of those. And then I found four of these bottles right here with like weird triangles on them. And I looked it up and I think this is a rare bottle as well, but I found four of those ones. Um, a couple of these bottles, I'm not too sure what they are. They have like a weird squiggle design here. And then it's like smooth in the middle. I found I think three or four of those. And then over here, we just found a bunch of just random stuff, man. Like this one, I don't know. I think this might be an old Pepsi bottle. I'm not too, too sure. Um, this one's just weird too, because it has weird lines on it. I still know too much about that either. Um, this one looks really weird. It has like a bubble on the top. And most of these bottles were either found uh, in the Chattahoochee River or in Florida, near like Gainesville. A couple of these were in the Keys. I think this one right here was actually in the Florida Keys. It has like a weird watermark on it right there. I didn't know what it was, but I kept it. But um, here's another cool one. I found this one, I think, in the Santa Fe River in Florida. It looks like an old milk bottle maybe, but I don't know. If you guys know anything about this one, let me know. That'd be cool. And then we found a super... It's probably the biggest bottle I've ever found here in the collection. Maybe an old liquor bottle of some sort. I don't know if it's vintage, but my friend Joseph loves this bottle. He wants to keep that one. And some of these are just random little bottles, but... I don't know, man. I mean, we found some pretty cool ones. Um, I don't know exactly what's the most rare bottle, but again, I'd have to say this pile right over here is definitely like my favorite section. You know, something about this bottle just stands out to me. It's, I've never found one like this my, my whole entire life. You know, a rounded bottom, bubbles inside. This is like handmade, hand blown. And this is definitely my favorite of the bunch. But um, I don't know, each bottle has its own characteristics, meaning, you know, like that each one's specific, specifically like pretty or beautiful or you're rare, you know, but I don't know, man. I've been holding on to them for a long time, and I thought they were kind of special and cool to keep. And it's, it's been a collection of, it's been like a, a collection I started that I never really talked to you guys about. And this is the first time I've showed you guys, but these are bottles I've been saving over the past, I think, three or four years now. And uh, it's just pretty cool to hold on to them. But I don't know exactly what I found or if I found any super, super rare ones. But if you guys have any idea what I found or if there's something that stands out, please leave me a comment. Give me some more information about these bottles. And uh, I would just love to learn a little bit more about what I found. But yeah, we're not going to sell them. We're just going to hold on to them for like a little collection. And uh, it's just so cool to, to keep collecting. So in the next few years, you know, maybe we'll do another video like this. And if you want to see that, drop a thumbs up on this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. But I hope you guys enjoy this one. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching.